Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll talk about common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you quite a bit of money, guys, and waste of time as well. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any vehicle having a BMW, guys, 5 Series generation E60, E61. This is the 5 Series BMW from year 2003 to year 2010. If you have one of those, you need to find where the oxygen sensor heater is located, guys. Stay with us, uh, fuse for the oxygen sensor heater, excuse me. Uh, you will have two fuses because you will have oxygen sensor 1 and oxygen sensor 2. Now, you have two individual fuses, we'll explain where you can find them, they're extremely hidden, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money, and why it's important to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have BMW 60, 61, that generation 5 series, we'll be making a video about every possible fuse and relay. Why? To save you time and money. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse blows out, what do you need to do? Okay, it takes forever to find where it's located, it's so complicated, you may have even multiple fuses, and all you have to do, come to our channel, search for it, and you'll be able to find that video, watch it, and in less than two minutes, you replace the fuses, you're back on the Road. Something else guys, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos, we take them completely apart, we show you guys how to fix pretty much anything. Engines, transmissions, why we do that? Because our mission to shop is to save you money guys. We have more than 11,000 videos on our channels that can save you quite a bit of money. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy parts, tools for your BMW or any car, we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money. And if you need to buy cheap fuses, relays, anything for your BMW, links will be shared as well. So let's continue now. So now the oxygen sensor heater fuses, where they're located, we'll demonstrate on 2008 BMW 5 series that we have right here, guys. Uh, fun fact, you have three different fuse boxes, most people know about two, one is hidden, extremely hidden, and that's the one that we need. What you will need to do guys, you need to pop your hood open, come on the passenger side. You can see this is the windshield, windshield wiper on the passenger side, the passenger side fender, strut shock tower, and here you have one trim cover. Remove that trim cover guys, once you get it out, you will get to a white fuse box, electrical box, open it and you will be in shock, why? Because of all the wires, connectors, modules, computers, relays that we have here. Before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we have to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost us $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So what we have here now guys that we need to check, if you zoom in for the oxygen sensor heater guys, if we zoom in you will be looking for that uh, fuse block that consists of five fuses. This is engine management fuse block, this, those are some of the most important fuses in your BMW 5 series. Uh, the location of that fuse block may be a little bit different inside that fuse box, it could be on the left, right side, towards the back, but that's what you're looking for. 
Remove the cover, you will see five fuses. And the fuses that you will need to check are fuse number two and fuse number four. Now, since you have it open, check all five fuses for a peace of mind to make sure that everything is good. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.